Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2023. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we're going to be covering 1 Chronicles 28 through 29 and John 9 24 through 41. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. David's Plans for the Temple, 1 Chronicles 28 David summoned all the officials of Israel to assemble at Jerusalem, the officers over the tribes, the commanders of the divisions in the service of the king, the commanders of thousands, the commanders of hundreds, and the officials in charge of all the property and livestock belonging to the king and his sons together with the palace officials, the warriors, and all the brave fighting men. King David rose to his feet and said, Listen to me, my fellow Israelites, my people. I had it in my heart to build a house as a place of rest for the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, for the footstool of our God. And I made plans to build it. But God said to me, You are not to build a house for my name because you are a warrior and have shed blood. And yet the Lord, the God of Israel, chose me from my whole family to be king over Israel forever. He chose Judea as leader, and from the tribe of Judea he chose my family, and from my father's sons he was pleased to make me king over all Israel. Of all my sons, and the Lord has given me many, he has chosen my son Solomon to sit on the throne of the kingdom of the Lord over Israel. He said to me, Solomon, your son, is the one who will build my house and my courts, for I have chosen him to be my son, and I will be his father. I will establish his kingdom forever, if he is unsworthy in carrying out my commands and laws, as is being done at this time. So now I charge you, in sight of all Israel, and of the assembly of the Lord, and in the hearing of our God, be careful to follow all the commands of the Lord your God, that you may possess this good land, and pass it on as an inheritance to your descendants forever. And you, my son Solomon, acknowledge the God of your father, and serve him with wholehearted devotion and with a willing mind, for the Lord searches every heart and understands every desire and every thought. If you seek him, he will be found by you, but if you forsake him, he will reject you forever. Consider now, for the Lord has chosen you to build a house as the sanctuary. Be strong and do the work. Then David gave his son Solomon the plans for the portico of the temple, its buildings, its storerooms, its upper parts, its inner rooms, and the pal place of atonement. He gave him the plans of all the spirit had put in his mind for the courts of the temple of the Lord and the surrounding rooms for the treasuries of the temple of God and for the treasuries for the delegate, delegated things. He gave him instructions for the divisions of the priests and Levites and for all the work of the services in the temple of the Lord, as well as for the articles to be used in its service. He designated the weight of gold for all the gold articles to be used in various kinds of service, and the weight of the silver for the silver articles to be used in various kinds of service the weight of gold for the gold lampstands and their lamps, with the weight 
for each lampstand and its lamps, and the weight of the silver for each silver lampstand and its lamps, according to the use of each lampstand, the weight of gold for each table for consecrated bread, the weight of silver for the silver tables, the weight of pure gold for the forks, sprinkling bowls, and pitchers, the weight of gold for each gold dish, the weight of silver for each silver dish, and the weight of the refined gold for the altar of incense. He also gave him the plans for the chariot, that is, the cherubim of gold, that spread their wings and overshadow the ark of the covenant of the Lord. All this David said, I have in writing as a result of the Lord's hand on me, and he enabled me to understand all the details of the plan. David also said to Solomon his son, Be strong and courageous, and do the work. Do not be afraid of discouraged, for the Lord God, my God, is with you. He will not fail you or forsake you until all the work for the service of the temple of the Lord is finished. The divisions of the priests and Levites are ready for the, all the work of the temple of God, and every willing person skilled in any craft will help you in all the work. The officials and all the people will obey your every command. Gifts for Building the Temple First Chronicles 29 Then King David said to the whole assembly, My son Solomon, the one whom God has chosen, is young and inexperienced. The task is great because this palatial structure is not for men, but for the Lord God. With all my resources, I have provided for the temple of my God, gold, the gold work, silver for the silver work, bronze for the bronze, iron for the iron, and wood for the wood. As well as onyx for the setting, turquoise, stones of various colors, and all kinds of fine stone and marble. All of this in large quantities. Besides in my devotion to the temple of my God, I now give my personal treasuries of gold and silver for the temple of my God. Over and above everything I have provided for this holy temple, 3,000 talents of gold, gold of Oprah, and 7,000 talents of refined silver for the overlaying of the walls of the buildings, for the gold work and the silver work, and for all the work to be done by the craftsmen. Now, who is willing to consecrate themselves to the Lord today? Then the leaders of the families, the officers of the tribes of Israel, the commanders of thousands and the commanders of hundreds, and the officials, in charge of the king's work, gravely gave willingly. They gave toward the work of the temple of God five thousand talents and ten thousand dirhams of gold, ten thousand talents of silver, eighteen thousand talents of bronze, and a hundred thousand talents of iron. Anyone who had precious stones gave them to the treasury of the temple of the Lord in the custody of Jehiel the Gershonite. The people rejoiced at the willing response of their leaders, for they gave freely and wholeheartedly to the Lord. David the king also rejoiced greatly. David's Prayer First Chronicles 29 David praised the Lord in the presence of the whole assembly, saying, Praise be to you, Lord, the God of our father Israel, 
from everlasting to everlasting. Yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor. For everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all wealth and honor come from you. You are the ruler of all things. In your hands are strength and power to exalt and give strength to all. Now, our God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. But who am I, and who are my people, that we should be able to give as generously as this? Everything comes from you. And we have given you only what comes from your hand. We are foreigners and strangers in your sight, as were all our ancestors. Our days on earth are like a shadow without hope. Lord our God, all this abundance that we have provided for building you a temple for your holy name comes from your hand, and all of it belongs to you. I know, my God, that you test the hearts and are pleased with integrity. All these things I have given willingly and without honest intent. And I know I have seen with joy how willingly your people who are here have given to you, Lord, the God of our and, uh, fathers Abraham, Isaac, and is Israel. Keep these des desires and thoughts in the hearts of your people forever, and keep their hearts loyal to you. And give my son Solomon the wholehearted devo devotion to keep your commands, statutes, and decrees, and do everything to build the palatial structure for which I have provided. Then David said to the whole assembly, Praise the Lord your God, so that all praised, and so they all praised the Lord, the God of their fathers. They bowed down, prostrating themselves before the Lord and the king. Solomon acknowledged as king. The next day they made sacrifices to the Lord and pre presented burnt offerings to him. A thousand bulls a thousand rams and a thousand male lambs, together with their drink offerings and other sacrifices in abundance for all Israel. They ate and they drank with great joy in the presence of the Lord that day. And then they acknowledged Solomon, son of David, as king a second time, anointing him before the Lord to be ruler and Zadok to be priest. And so Solomon sat on the throne of the Lord as king in place of his father David. He proposed, and all Israel obeyed him. All the officers and warriors, as well as all of King David's sons, pledged their submission to King Solomon. The Lord highly exalted Solomon in the sight of all Israel and bestowed upon him royal splendor such as no king over Israel had ever had before. The Death of David David, son of Jesse, who was king over all Israel, he ruled over Israel forty years, seven in Hebron and thirty-three in Jerusalem. He died at a good old age, having enjoyed long life, wealth, and honor. His son Solomon succeeded him as king. As for the events of King David's reign, from beginning to end, they are written in the records of Solomon the seer. I'm sorry, Samuel the seer. The records of Nathan the prophet and the records of Gad the seer. Together with the details of his reign and power and the circumstances that surrounded him and Israel, and the kingdoms of all the other lands. And that was First Chronicles 28 through 29.
And now we will be turning to John 9, 24. John 9, 24. The second time they summoned the man who had been blind. Give glory to God by telling the truth, they said. We know this man is a sinner. He replied, Whether he is a sinner or not, I do not uh, know. One thing I do know, I was blind, but now I see. They asked him, What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? He answered, I have told you already, and you did not listen. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you want to become his disciples too? And then they hurled insults at him and said, You are this fellow's disciple? We are disciples of Moses. We know that God spoke to Moses, but as this for this fellow, we don't even know where he comes from. The man answered, Now, that is remarkable. You don't know where he comes from, yet he opened my eyes. We know that God does not listen to his sinners, and he listens to the godly persons who does his will. Nobody has ever heard of opening the eyes of a blind man. Are a man born blind, and if this man were not from God, he could do nothing. To this they replied, You were steeped in sin at birth. How dare you lecture us? And they threw him out. Spiritual blindness. Now Jesus heard that they had thrown him out, and when he found him, he said, do you believe in the Son of Man? Who is he, sir? The man asked. Tell me so, that I may believe in him. Jesus said, You have now seen him. It, in fact, he is the one speaking with you. Then the man said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. Jesus said, For judgment I have come into this world, so that the blind will see, and those who see will become blind. Some Pharisees who were with him heard him say this and asked, What are we blind to? And Jesus said, If you were blind, you would not be guilty of sin. But now that you claim you can see, your guilt remains. And that was John 9, 24 through 41, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2023 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering 2 Chronicles 1 through 3 and John 10, 1 through 23. Father, I just thank you for your word, because if it were not for your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And they all said, Amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2023 for today. I, Shenandoah Briscoe, have enjoyed being your messenger of the word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow because, well, God will and will be here. And we hope that you are too. Please like and share.